Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm diving into a super exciting project I'm building a turbo jet engine. Yes, a mini water jet engine for a small boat. And the coolest part, I'm using 3D printing to bring it all to life. Let's get started. Alright guys, so the 3D printing is finally done. This step took quite a bit of time about 5 days in total to finish the entire turbojet assembly. And yep, it's fully 3D printed. For the high wear parts, I used stainless steel bearings and a solid stainless steel shaft to make sure everything runs smoothly and lasts longer. As you can see here, the level of finish is actually pretty impressive. At the shaft ends, I've designed water seals to prevent any leakage so no water can get into the boat. It's those little details that really make a difference. To make sure everything runs as smoothly as possible during the assembly, I'm going to apply a layer of grease to the moving parts. This helps reduce friction and makes the initial setup a whole lot easier. But it doesn't stop there once the engine is fully assembled and ready to operate, I'll be injecting oil directly into the shaft area. This ensures continuous lubrication, especially when the engine is running at high speed. Proper lubrication is absolutely crucial for both performance and longevity, and it's one of those small details that really makes a big difference in any mechanical build. And now, let's talk about the fan blade design. This is one of my favorite parts of the build. I designed the blades with a very steep angle of attack, much more aggressive than what you typically see. The reason? I wanted to make sure that even at low speeds, the fan could generate a powerful thrust. And not just any thrust. We're talking serious compression force here. This kind of design helps the engine push a lot of water even before it hits high RPMs, which is perfect for a strong and responsive start. Since the fan blades are made from plastic, I had to take that into account during the design process. That's why I made the blades extra thick to make sure they can withstand the intense compression forces when the engine is running. Even though it's plastic, with the right design, it can still handle some serious pressure without deforming or breaking. It's all about finding that balance between performance and durability. So what do you guys think? At around 7,000 revolutions per minute, do you think these plastic blades will hold up or are they gonna shatter into pieces? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, I'm really curious to see what you think. Alright, now it's time to bring everything together. Let's connect each component so you can clearly see how the turbojet engine operates both in structure and principle. This is where all the theory turns into motion. Get ready because the magic of engineering is about to come to life. Check this out guys, looks flat right? I put it on the lathe and gave it a good finish now it's got a clean, flat surface. Smooth as butter. This is absolutely perfect guys. Every little detail has come together just the way it should. Up to this point, everything is aligning with precision, it's smooth, it's clean, and exactly how I planned it. Moments like these really remind me why I love building and engineering. When all the effort pays off and things just click, it's such a satisfying feeling. And here we have the third component, the stator, or the fixed blades. Its job is to guide the flow of water, keeping it straight and focused. This helps generate a much stronger thrust. Now, inside this section, there are two bearings and a water sealing gasket. That gasket is super important, it keeps water out and protects the bearings from damage. Without it, the entire system could wear down much faster. It's all about precision and protection in engineering.
As you can see here, I've added a small water pipe pretty neat, right? Now, do you know what this little guy is for? Well, it's actually a flow diverter. It draws a tiny amount of water from the compression chamber and redirects it to help cool the engine. Just a small detail but one that makes a big difference in performance and reliability. Smart cooling keeps things running smooth. Alright guys, so I've just finished building this turbojet engine completely 3D printed. And as you can see, it's not exactly small. This one's pretty big. Now it's time to take some measurements so you can get a better idea of just how massive this thing really is. Let's check it out together. Alright everyone, so here we are I've officially completed building this turbojet engine. What do you guys think? Honestly, this unit is surprisingly heavy. Even though the main body is made from plastic using 3D printing technology, the whole thing weighs around 2 to 3 kilograms. That's thanks to the combination of materials I used, plastic for the casing, an aluminum shaft for strength, chrome alloy parts for durability, and stainless steel screws to hold everything together securely. When it comes to installing this engine onto a boat, you'll notice that the back section can actually stick out a bit beyond the hull. To protect that exposed part, I'm planning to design an additional protective plate that will be mounted underneath. This way, the engine stays safe from any bumps or damage while in operation. Overall, the level of finish on this build is really impressive. Everything fits together precisely, and the craftsmanship is top-notch. It's been a challenging but incredibly rewarding project, and I'm excited to see how it performs in action. So, do you want to see how this engine actually runs? If yes, don't forget to leave me a like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. I'll be showing you the test runs and more exciting projects in my upcoming videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care and see you soon.